All right. Now, this is what I'm talking about, man. Sean Porter comes out and says, we got to fight the best fighters out there. No matter what street we're on, all that shit Earl Spence want to talk about. When sports comes back to the forefront, we got to fight the best. No more ducking no more. We can't duck nope, none of these guys anymore. We got to fight the best. Otherwise, you know, boxing boxing's going to go right back to the cemetery days, man. It's E-King Fight News. And you know we got more on this. All right, you see this? Sean Porter coming out here and saying, we got to stop ducking these fights. Whether you're Earl Spence, whether you're Danny Garcia... Whether you're, y'all know who I'm talking about, Gervonta Tank Davis, Leo Santa Cruz, whether you're any one of these guys, man, Vasily Lomachenko, yeah, I said Vasily Lomachenko, that's right, I said, because you, you want to know why? Because he's stalling out Tiafimo Lopez, that fight needs to get made, and I believe it will get made, but let's see what Sean Porter had to say. Sean Porter doesn't know who he's going to face in his first fight following the virus, you know. This is what he had to say. Porter told Larry Wade this exact quote. Right now, I think the list for me is extremely slim. It's been a while. Porter said, we'll test the waters of maybe Manny Pacquiao. We'll test the waters of maybe Earl Spence. Here's the thing. When you're fighting Earl Spence, now he's had some rest. He was talking about coming back in June or July. We don't know how long this thing's going to last. But we get past June and July, August, September even. We reset the whole clock. People want to see the best of the best. And they need to see it immediately. If we want to contend with NFL, NBA, who's on pause right now. If we want to make a big boom. You know, Manny Pacquiao versus Sean Porter. You make Earl Spence versus Sean Porter myself. I'll go ahead and say this myself and Terrence Crawford. We're going to have a conversation before this hit. And I don't know how this conversation is going to go. But you want to see Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. Those are the big fights that people need to see right off the jump. Forget warming up. Forget I need a comeback fight. Forget all that. All that's done in the gym. And you know it. If you're doing it the right way, your training is your warm-up. This is, this, and this fight is the fight everybody's supposed to see. At the top of the list, Pacquiao, Earl Spence, and I don't know what that conversation with Terrence Crawford is going to be like, but I think it was going to be a good one, so we can put his name in there too. That's what Sean Porter has to say. All right, so first and foremost, give Sean Porter credit for coming out, talking like a real fighter. You know, a lot of these guys forget they're fighters these days. A lot, a lot of these guys forget it's their job to make the best fights out there for the fans, for boxing, for their own legacy. And they will get rewarded for putting their legacy first when they retire. Guys like you know, Mike Tyson became undisputed. And he's getting rewarded right now for putting his legacy first. Right? He fought the best guys out there. And a lot of people look at Mike Tyson like like the super OG of the game. And, you know, he, he's been able to, to, to come back and make a career just by being him. You know, and he had that speaking tour. And he's got a few good documentaries. But this is what I'm saying, man. Guys like guys like Keith Thurman, who want to hang around in hiding, ducking the best fighters, he's going to be forgotten about. He's going to be, guys like Javante Tank Davis. If he don't step up and make the fights that people want to see, he's going to be forgotten about, right? They're just going to know him as as oh, this the guy. You know, he wanted to be like Floyd. He wanted to be like Floyd. You know what it is what it is. I don't see anybody talking about Leo Santa Cruz five years from now. Abner Mares. You know. But that 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 is what it is. Honestly, 
that message needs to be said throughout. And somebody in every division needs to come out and say, we need to fight the best. We need to make this shit. We need to make the best fights out here. All the promoters need to be saying this shit. When it comes to Terrence Crawford, shit, make make that fight happen. If, if Sean Porter talking like he wants to fight, Bud Crawford, you can make Spence look like a hoe all you want, but you still got to fight somebody. And it looks like he's fighting Kell Brook. Okay, you know? It's funny because there's, there's a whole... The whole, the whole LDBC want to cry and say Crawford be ducking Kell Brook? Well, na- now you're going to get that fight. Now you're going to get that fight. Right? So let's 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 embrace that one because it is what it is. Crawford need a fight. Hopefully, Kell Brook come ready, come prepared, doesn't come overweight, and that fight goes down. Right? Hopefully, Sean Porter can come back. Who knows? I, I would rather see Crawford Porter. I would rather see that fight. Obviously, it's it's pretty much a number one versus number three kind of fight. So why not make it happen? Um, Porter damn near beat Earl Spence. It would be a great fight for both fighters. When it comes to Earl Spence, if he's coming back direct against Danny Garcia, I don't got a problem with that. Right? We all know his case, his circumstance. He's off of injury. A car crash, whatever you want to call it. Um, and Danny Garcia is a pretty stern test. And I would put upset alert all over that fight. I think Danny Garcia is a very live fighter, uh, a very disciplined fighter, and a guy that can really test an Earl Spence Jr. all the way to the bank. Um, but give credit to Sean Porter. If there's one guy I see crossing over, like what Deontay Wilder did fighting... Tyson Fury on an ESPN production. Sean Porter might be the guy to cross the street. That that fucking fictitious streak, man. Any any of these fighters should be doing that shit, man. We should already got Crawford Earl Spence. Should already got that. Hasn't happened yet. Because them guys on the PBC don't want to cross the street. Right? Only guy that's done it is Deontay Wilder. And it feels like after that situation. You know, that might have shook the whole PBC to not do that shit, right? It might have. But hopefully Sean Porter got got a real set of balls and he's willing to do it. And I believe he does. I believe he does, man. He's a guy that's shown he's willing to fight anybody. And uh, give him credit. (coughs) You know, he gave Errol Spence one of the toughest fights of his career. He gave him the toughest fight of his career, bar none. Right? Gave Keith Thurman the toughest fight of his career, bar none. Gave Kell Brook probably the toughest fight of his career up until that point. So, um, Sean Porter is, is not an easy fight for nobody. He's not an easy fight for nobody. Right? Tough fighter. And, and I hope he stands by his words. I hope he comes back and fights the best. Hashtag no tune-ups out here. That's what we're talking about, man. All these guys, man. All these guys, man. Over a fucking super uh junior or super welterweight junior middleweight 154. Those guys should be fucking unifying. You know, we want to see Charlo versus um uh, Jerson Rosario and J Rock. We want to see all them fights. All them fights need to happen. Even Harrison can get that smoke again, man. Wouldn't mind seeing it. Right? And shit, I still want to see, when it comes to these heavyweights, I still want to see Undisputed, man. These guys be ducking Undisputed, man. Whether it's AJ ducking the fight, whether it's Wilder didn't want the fight in 2019. I broke that down already. I could break it down even further. We all know what it is, man. It's E-King Fight News. Smash the like button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more boxing, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Stay tuned, bro. Keep it locked to the channel. And y'all know what it is. I'm going to keep bringing that heat. So it's E-King Fight News. Peace.